What's going on guys, Roger here, QVO Tactical. In today's video, we are shooting a very popular gun right now, the Palmetto State Armory Crink. It's an 8.4 inch barreled 5.56223 AK, and guys, we are having a blast with it. Without further ado, let's get into it. Now, as always, guys, I like to tell you how I go about getting these products in for review. Um, these have been selling out like crazy on the PSA website. So I actually signed up for their email restock notification. I got an email a couple weeks back that these were back in stock. So I hopped on their website early Tuesday morning, purchased one for about $12.99. Um, after shipping and tax, I think it's just over $1,400. They shipped it out to my local FFL, so we went down there and picked it up. Um, PSA does help us out with quite a few videos, but these are one of the products that they've recently come out with that are just selling like crazy. So I wanted to hop on their website and get one while you know it's still a hot ticket item to show you guys here on the channel. So with that being said, let's get into the first rounds. All right, it is time for the first round. So this PSA crank, uh, I've been waiting to get one of these guys. I signed up for the email notifications. It kept showing out of stock. They finally came back in stock a couple weeks back. Um, I was able to get one in the 700 serial number. So pretty pumped to get one in the first thousand made. Uh, for the first rounds, we're gonna be shooting uh, some 55 grain remanufactured 223 from our friends over at Supervale Ammunition. Guys, if you're not familiar with Supervale, they are a local company here in town. They're pushing out numbers, guys, like over 200,000 rounds a nine mil daily. They have remanufactured. They have new ammo they have different grains of nine mil uh, marco our buddies one of their sponsored shooters they've come on board with the channel to help us with our ammunition needs so definitely show them some support we appreciate their support with the channel especially being a local company um, with that being said though let's see how this uh, 55 grain does to this i think it's like an 8.4 inch barrel for this psa crank here we go all the dry fire over the last week here we go first rounds Guard's a little warm. I've been watching a bunch of other videos and reading a lot of stuff. People are saying like after a mag, the hand handguard can get pretty hot. Um, it's warmer than when I started. It's not, I can still hold it just fine. Um, recoil impulse coming up a little right, coming right back down. And I'm running a, a Hollow Sun a 403R red dot on the uh, ADM QD mount, some of my favorite mounts, uh, super quick and easy. But first rounds felt good. Um, I've been looking for like a little like small truck gun, if you will, and this kind of fit the bill. Marco runs a little uh, short AK SBR that I was liking, and when these cranks came out, I was like, man, I gotta get one. But yeah, first rounds, I'd say I fired maybe 20. Um, most of them in A zone, really 10 yards out, but first initial impressions uh, felt good. I did feel a couple of like slow cycles, I don't know if you saw it, um, where I kind of felt like I was able to run the trigger a little faster, but I haven't shot an AK in over 20 years, so. Uh, I have Marco hop up here. He actually shoots a bunch of local AK matches and uh, he's gonna kind of give you his thoughts. And to me, I wanted to get him in this video because he's gonna be better suited to uh, break this down for you guys. But let's have Marco hop up here. All right, Marco, you are up, buddy. PSA crank, let's see how she runs. A little slow, you can definitely feel it. Just outran a gun there. It's smoother now, you can feel it in there. So a little bit of break in, I can see there already. But uh, the gun shoots pretty good. It's actually not as violent as most other cranks. As we all know, AKs, they get really violent when you get shortened on the gun. This feels actually pretty smooth. It, it is probably gonna smoothen out the more we shoot it. Uh, impulse is good. It's, it's a 2-2-3 AK, it's like cheating. These things are really good. So breakdown, so for people kind of watching, not understanding exactly, because they're gonna be like, oh, malfunction, where you are no, actually outran thinking, the gun. Especially with the ALG trigger, these triggers are like 100 bucks, but they're the fastest triggers you can buy for these guns, what we recommend the most. You can actually outrun the guns so easily, because the AKs are, they're usually violent, the action is meant for speed, so you can really run these guns really, really fast. Uh, right now, it seems like the uh, bolts, probably a little, uh, just a break into the rails internally right there. That's kind of normal for most AKs. Just, just it's a, it's an AK, guys, not an AR. It's not a fine-tuned machine. These are more blacksmithing, gunsmithing. So it's just, you gotta shoot it a little bit to get it smoothened out. Um, otherwise, it's smoothing out right now. I can tell just by shooting it, so. But I like it so far. We'll see how it goes the rest of the day. Gil's first rounds. Go for it, bud.
I mean, this is my first time shooting an AK, and I mean, so far, it's pretty, pretty effing sweet, guys. I mean, first one I shot, and I think it's pretty cool. All right, time to get this thing zeroed in. But before we walk out 50 yards away from our paper target, we actually realize we're 50 yards away from our steel targets. So I wanna see if we're just hitting on C-Zone steel. Um, I got a Hollow Sun 403R. I took it right out of the box, put it on my ADM QD mount, and mounted it up on the crank. Uh, Gil, go ahead and zoom in on the C-Zone TA target for me. Got it there. Cool, I'm gonna shoot a few rounds, see if we're hitting. Ready? Ready. So a little low, a little right, but we're hitting a C zone. Uh, move over here to this A zone. I got an A zone target out here, guys. It's only about eight inches wide. Uh, I'm gonna see if we're hitting on that. I'm gonna shoot a little high since I know I'm shooting low. Ready, Gil? Ready. So that's pretty awesome, right out of the box. Um, took the hollow sun, mounted it up, and we're hitting eight inch mini A-zone steel at 50 yards with some Super Veil uh, 55 grain. We're gonna walk back to 50 now and see how she uh, groups here on the paper target. Now we're gonna get this thing properly dialed in. Got it mounted up on a tripod here. Um, I definitely saw some other videos and some other stuff about this thing not giving great accuracy. So I wanted to make sure we took all the variables out. Uh, 50 yards out on some paper. We'll shoot a grouping and see how it is. Here we go. That ALG trigger, man, surprises me every time. All right, little 10 round group. Let's go see how it is. So kind of what I was afraid of, guys, look at this group, come and zoom in here. I wanted to make sure I shot, you know, 10 rounds plus and it's like over here. <laughs> uh, we definitely need to come high and left, which we kind of figured out from shooting the steel targets, but I mean, this isn't an ideal zero, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes. So we've made our adjustments and we're gonna shoot another group and see where it's at, here we go. take a look so slow down the cadence of fire just a little bit and still got some of these guys out here but at least we have this to go off of now here four rounds within one inch so I'll make more adjustments off of this guy but happy to see this adjustments have been made let's shoot the third group And then, Mark, you said we're, what, 90 yards away from the mini A-zone? From the mini uh, A-zone, yeah. Nice. All right, Gil, come back behind me here, pan down to this mini A-zone, zoom in on that thing. Let me know when you're ready. You got both of us in the shot. All right, one second here. There you go, got you. All right, let's see if we're hitting here. Well, that definitely gives me confidence. Mini A zone, eight inch target, 90 yards out. Um, we'll, we'll, for fun after this, we'll take it back to 100 and you and me do some standing shots and see how we do. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> We're gonna find out. All right, let's go look at the group. Down here now at the target, groupings are starting to look way better. Uh, things are kind of coming together here. Let's tighten it up finally. So you were telling me on the way out here, like talking oh, yeah. about cone of fire. So AKs, they're not really as accurate as, they're accurate as most people, uh, they're more accurate than most people think, to be honest with you. But not as accurate as they are, just by design of the gun. We really use the cone of fire drill, meaning we'll fire 10 to 30 rounds on target, preferably 30, which is better, which I actually learned from my buddy Brian Nelson. But you want to know the cone of fire of that gun so you know you can get a zero coned. But let's say you're shooting a 200 yard target, you're not going to try to readjust your aim, you're just going to hold that same spot but keep firing until you hit it. Meaning you know the cone of fire of the gun's eventually going to get there. Because that just the way the AKs work, they're just going to group bigger than most ARs. It just it is what it is with these things. So, 
Like Marco's kind of like our go-to for AK stuff. He shoots and puts together a lot of the uh, AK matches we hear. You want to plug that real quick? Your yeah, Wolverine. So, uh, so we run an event at Pro Gun. It's called uh, Wolverine Wednesday or Soviet Sundays, depending what day we do. It's usually third weekend of every month. We'll do it on uh, Wednesdays for summer at 4 p.m. usually start time. We go to like 7 Oh, wait, it's not so hot. Yeah, and then right now we got our last two-gun one, which is Soviet Sunday coming up, which is a two-gun event with AKs and whatever handgun you want. So... So it's you, a good event. Yeah, if you got an AK, go out there. Yeah, this is one of Marco's. If you, you don't, we got guns you can borrow. Just bring ammo. There you go. Bring or buy ammo, I should say. So. You run, uh, you, yeah. this is one of your competition one of ones. Mine. This is one of my oldest ones. It's an Arsenal 106 with the uh, Man of Core Furniture Hollow Sun Red Dot. But it's a uh, 556 gun as well. It's a really good cheater way to get into the AKs. They can run whatever crap ammo you feed it. So. And you were Solid. saying AKs are typically what, like a 3-4 MOA gun? Yeah, they're not the best in accuracy-wise. The Galils will dominate accuracy over an AK, but I mean... The AK is an AK, so. Hey, I'm happy with this, That's and then hitting good. hitting eight eight inch steel target at 100. I'll make some small adjustments off of this, but I'm I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, I'd call that very acceptable for an AK. All right, final adjustments have been made. Going to shoot this last group and see if we're uh, even better on center. Here we go. All right, that's 10, let's go look. Definitely starting to see way better groups here, guys. We got four rounds right there touching. Flyer out here, let's actually make some triangles now. Got these three guys. So, but four rounds here, kind of what he was, Marco was saying earlier, like cone of fire, shoot, you know, hold the same point and you're gonna hit. But I'm gonna move this probably literally one right, one down leave it at there, confirm on some steel. And then I did bring out different grains of 223. We're gonna put some uh, pacers up here and we'll shoot some different ammo and see which ones are grouping the best. Now to better test accuracy with this thing, we are going to shoot uh, six different grains of 223556. Uh, I got my iPhone recording downrange. You guys can see this as it happens because I know that's kind of a better footage for you guys. But uh, first we're gonna start off with the uh, 55 grain oh. Super Veil. We're gonna do the uh, top target. There's 10. I will say, dude, shooting this, like the, the dot comes right back to zero, like right back where I was shooting, which is awesome. All right, let's switch it up now. Next up is gonna be some uh, Ammo Ink 69 grain um, boat tail hollow points. Gonna shoot the top left. Next is going to be the uh, Sabre 75 green AAC, actually from PSA. And we'll shoot the top right now. Next is the creme de la creme. We got the Black Hill 77 green open tip match. Marco, how much does this stuff go for a box? More than I can afford. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I'm not sure these days, probably a dollar out at least. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, now for some like stuff that I buy from uh, Ventura Munitions, it's the BVAC 55 grain, uh, kind of just our normal range stuff that we pick up from uh, Mikey and the boys over there. And we'll shoot bottom left with this. And last but not least, the 77 grain Norma Sierra Match King bullet. Uh, this is what we were using in our videos to hit kind of long range with uh, some of our 223 SPR builds. Uh, bottom right target, here we go. take a look down here at the target now um, looking at all the different groupings I'm happy to see that the super veil did really good for us I mean, we got one dead center um, the ammo ink this is probably the best group you'd say the 69 grain yeah. uh, 69s hollow point so for defensive carry ammo I mean that's probably what I want to put in this thing then if I'm gonna rerun on this thing move the group up but I'm still pumped on that man yeah. like right, being able to get remanufactured ammo that's shooting at a 8.4 inch barreled AK and I'm getting this is a six inch circle and we're getting this tight of a group that's super cool to see uh, very surprising to me that the Black Hill 77 OTM, this is, these are from this right here. So it's this wide group. And then also the 77 Norma Sierra Match King bullet gave us this huge wide group there. So the BVAC 55, uh, the other budget uh, tier uh, 223 ammo that I use, actually did really good as well. So it's kind of showing here that the gun likes the 55 to 60 yeah. stuff. Yeah, lighter grain stuff is the way to go. For there you go, thing. better way to put it. Yeah. Um, the Sabre 75, I got like half my group up there and half off. But I mean, still kind of a widespread. Still usable, but yeah, it leaves lighter grain stuff. It's cheaper anyway, which is a plus thing. But I'm I'm so pumped to see what one two three four five, yeah, literally yeah. five rounds touching on this target here. So to me, the accuracy, like I was worried about it from seeing other posts, other videos. This is like more than fine for me in regards to what I want to use this gun for. I want this as a truck gun. When we come out to the desert to have you know ready to go. It's it's compact. It's short, um, and you know it's an AK, so it's just gonna run. Acceptable accuracy <laughs> for an AK, as we say. So Marco did bring out some steel cased ammo because I know you guys are asking, hey, how to do a steel case. So we're gonna put in target up and shoot a group with that and we'll, and we'll get you guys the results. Now probably for what most AK guys are gonna run, some steel case Tula, probably also the easiest uh, 223 ammo to find. Yeah, cheapest too. We'll shoot a group on the bottom paster. You guys should be seeing it uh, in the iPhone camera as well. Here we go, ready Gil? Ready. We'll go take a look. Those all felt pretty good. Down here at the target now, looking at the grouping of the cheapest ammo that we probably have out here. Some steel case Tula. Marco, kind of break this down for everybody. I'm, I'm really happy with these results. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. That's very acceptable. That's what we usually tend to see with uh, 223 AKs, especially with the Tula. It's the most common round. It's also the cheapest for the AK actions you want to use. Uh, it just works, as you can see there. Especially AK matches we run with their most targets are within 200 yards anyway or 100 yards and it's still built for iron sight So this is very acceptable for that kind of platform you're gonna run there And you were saying typically you'll run more steel case for your AK actions versus AR oh, Absolutely, it's really meant for that the AR action itself. It's it'll usually lock it up That's why you need a rod to get those out sometimes because it expands in there the AK action is a little more loose So it'll uh, just handle the steel case a lot better. It's really designed for steel case ammunition to be honest with you I know some people in the comments are like oh I use steel case to my AR all the time. That's awesome. It's great for you 
Me personally, I carry a rod in my truck because <laughs> anytime I've used steel case in any of my ARs from my ADMs to my battle arms to like any aero precision build I've done, I always get one that jams in there and I have to sit there and hit it out with a rod. So I've never had any luck with steel case ammunition. So I'm glad to see that with this PSA crank. I mean, we got every, all 10 rounds within this uh, six inch circle. Mm -hmm. It's the cheapest that you can find. And like you were saying, that's a very acceptable it's, group yeah, for a 50 yard AK. Like cheap, cheap steel case ammo for an AK, perfect. And being honest guys, with all these different groups that you're seeing, like I'm stoked to see this stuff from Supervail, from the 69, this especially, because I'm shooting red dot, no magnification out at 50 yards. I know hitting a target, yeah, it's easy guys, yep. to hit, you know, being on a tripod, hitting a C-zone target at 50 yards, no problems whatsoever. But getting nice tight groups like this with an 8.4 inch barrel, that to me is really impressive to see from this gun. So like I was saying down at the target guys, you know, having this thing mounted in a tripod and shooting some steel, pretty easy to do. We're out at 100 yards now. We're going to shoot the uh, C-Zone steel from 100 yards standing with some uh, Super Rail 55 grain. I was liking how that stuff did for us on the zeroing. And let's see how we're hitting standing. Ready, Gil? Ready. All right, C-Zone steel, 100 yards out. Super Rail 55 grain, 223. Cool, all day long on that. So what I like about that is if I'm gonna use this as a truck gun and I would have to engage somebody, you know, at hundred yards out, I think this thing's gonna do it for me. Um, let's take it a step further and see if I can hit this little mini eight inch target, um, the mini A zone at hundred. Let me know when you're ready, Gil. Ready. All right, here we go. Mini A zone, eight inch. Three out of four, I'll take that. So I have Marco hop on here, have him give it a shot. But uh, the things that I was worried about with this being 8.4 inch 223 was accuracy. And with the groupings that we got, I'm happy with those. With being able to hit C zone, A zone steel standing at 100, happy with that as well. So this definitely, in my opinion, I'll say it now, is probably gonna be the new truck gun. Oh, let's get it on. Let's try the C zone, the A zones. My poor our sight doesn't help, but it does it, so the gun will do its job. Just do your part. Even with the stigmatism hitting it, dog. Yeah. Yep. Hey, old. Stigmatism, which is super annoying. I know you guys, some of you guys have it too. You know what I mean. <laughs> I like it so far. Hey guys, Marco here. We're going to do a quick trigger breakdown on the ALG uh, AKT here. Pretty straightforward, single act, single stage, I'd say. So, nice quick break, quick reset, break, reset, break, reset. You really run these things. Real easy to use, single stage trigger, AK is meant for speed, this is the proper trigger to use for it. Now another thing I know you might be wondering about is, hey, what is mag compatibility like? So we actually purchased a bunch of different uh, 5.56223 AK mags and we're gonna test them out for you guys. So first is the PSA mag that it comes with. So obviously that's been working, but we'll put it in this little showcase of mags. Here we go, 10 rounds. Boom, 10, good to go there. All right, next up. FB radon. And next. Jump into the cheapest mag we have, the Pro Mag. Good to go, next up. AC Unity. Yeah, that worked. Next. Now for probably our most expensive mag, the Arsenal mag. Good to go there. Handguard is getting hot now from all these mag dumps. Good to go on the Arsenal. Next up. So we get the Arsenal mag with the Amro Designs plus six base plate. Works and go next. Last mag is going to be the uh, WPB, uh, kind of mid tier, but uh, definitely more affordable than other mags out there. And here we go. 
good to go. So this thing is like in pretty much every single mag we brought out. We did notice with a couple of them, they were a little tight going in, but after cycling a couple rounds, kind of like shaved down whatever tolerances need to be uh, to make the mag work. But um, yeah, so if you guys have a bunch of different uh, 223 AK mags, you're probably gonna be good to go with the PSA crank. All right guys, gonna try out a few different reload methods and see how we do with the uh, PSA crank. Here we go, stand by. So 4.85 total, the reload took me 3.81 seconds. So kind of slow, but uh, there's one reload method. Let's do another. All right, mag method, here we go. Point nine eight, so that was slower for me. Kind of getting that hit on the uh, lever there. All right, let's try a couple different ones. All right, we'll try some uh, right hand engagement now. Stand by. Oh my God! Ten years later, six point seven eight. We'll try that same method, but with the mag now. Man, just finding that insertion point. 731. So yeah, fastest for me, grabbing it, throwing it, insert new, boom. I'm gonna try to get a sub three like you're saying. Three ninety nine, got it under four. Four twenty six. Three fifty one. That's my best run. Three and a half seconds. Go one more. For a three point eight seven. So it looks like under four seconds is where I'm at. Um, I don't think I get under three. I'm gonna have Marco hop up here. Let him go through the torture of AK reloads. And you guys can see how a pro does it. Three nine six total. Split was three twelve. Mind you guys, that's his first try. That's his first try. <laughs> that was when you guys saw me get that time, that was like my fiftieth try. <laughs> so, not the easiest guns to run, guys, just a heads up. Two eighty eight. Even with the hesitation, two eighty eight. <laughs> yeah. That's insane. Let's go straight four. Three thirty four. So are, are you just smacking them? I don't. I feel like you're not hitting the lever. I feel like you're just smacking the mag. Smacking the shit out of the lever. Like, I use the other mag to actually hit it. It's so quick, it doesn't even look like it's hitting yeah. the lever. It looks like you're just smacking the mag. That way, so I tip the gun up-ish and then do this. And it, uh, after it hits the lever, it'll hit the mag. So lever, mag out, grab the new mag, grab it in. Yeah. Straight five. Ah, ah I missed that one. <laughs> it's because I said something. <laughs> No, I got a bad angle on it. Slow on that one. 365. Now, while we're out on the range, I do want to run at least one drill. So we are gonna run Travis Haley's 22422. Got three paper targets out about seven yards away. They're about two yards apart. And let's see how we do. Here we go, stand by. Three twenty. Let's go look real quick, Gil. Three Alpha, one Charlie. Two Alpha, two Charlie. Three Charlie, one Alpha. I'm gonna have Marco run this drill now and see how he does. Oh, 
blazing, dude. You got a time of 3.01. Mm -hmm. Let's go check the hits. Three alpha, one Charlie. Two down. Two and two. And two and two. Yep. Nice, man. What's the trick to having the cadence sound the same across three different targets? Do this drill a lot and let your eyes lead. So my eyes, one, two, let the eyes lead. Next target, one, two, eyes lead again. Eyes always lead, guys. So. All right, Gil, two, two, four, two, two, stand by. This one shot on the other one. 451s, look at the hits. We got three alpha, one Charlie, three Charlie, one alpha, and two alpha, two Charlie. Not bad, dude. Yeah, gotta fix on the cadence, but. It's only it's your second, second time ever running the drill. Yeah. Now for our final thoughts before we hop off on the range. Marco, you being a big AK guy, I'm gonna let you take it first, man, go for it. Yeah, so far, it's, uh, I like it. Works pretty good, the accuracy is what you expect out of a gun like this. Uh, it's nice to do the LG trigger out of the box, J-Mac furniture as well, for this option right here. It shoots pretty good, accuracy is what you expect out of the uh, short barrel like this with the uh, type of cranes we're using today. I gotta say, it's not bad, not bad at all, PSA, you did a good job. Guys, you all know if you've been watching the channel, I'm not a huge AK guy, but when this came out, we saw it at SHOT Show and you know, when they were doing the poll and everything, and then Marco being a big AK guy has kind of like influenced me with you know looking at more at these. When I told him about this, like I like that it's chambered in 223556. I don't really want to start having another caliber of 762. I mean, I'm not opposed to it. You know, we'll get some more AKs on the channel, but um, just being able to keep using the same ammunition from our AR videos to this is pretty great. Um, in addition to that, it performed way better than I thought it was going to. I was hearing like all these different things about the accuracy. Like in in my experience with this, the accuracy was way better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, it's on par for like what we, that uh, that 69 grain boat tail that we had with the five rounds touching. Yeah, that's touching. awesome. Um, me personally, I want this for like a lightweight, really compact truck gun. Something that we can throw in there. You know, with the brace folding here. Like, this is super easy to stow away. So um, I'm happy about that. Uh, we are gonna do a part two. It's gonna be coming up. We're gonna suppress this thing up. I might change the grip out to a Magpul. We're gonna do some stuff to it, but I wanna see how it performs suppressed. Yep. Um, you were saying with this booster sending more gas back, it might actually be better with a suppressor yeah. sending even more gas even back. Even more gas back. Mainly because I want to cycle faster, which is nice. Like talking with Marco off camera, I was asking him like what he prefers between AR and AK, and he said AK because it's just faster for him to shoot. Yeah, cyclic rate. Plus, I mean, they're just, they can run cheap seal case ammo all day long, no issues usually. Um, ALG trigger, cheap trigger, very fast trigger, which is nice, single stage. You guys, you saw in the B-roll earlier from the intro, like I had Marco run this thing at 100 frames per second, and man, he was just burning it down. He can really run this ALG. I have the ALG in my AKV9, which yep. I like that gun a lot. Um, that gun's got a little more bump to it, so I can really run that thing fast. Um, I mean, it ran every single magazine we had out here. You guys saw that. You know, reloads, not my favorite with this thing. <laughs> to me, the reloads, you know what I'll equate yeah. it to? Doing a reload with an AR is like driving automatic. Yeah. Doing a reload with this is like driving a manual six speed six shift. Very, very fine motor skill there. Like that's yeah. what that's what it kind of makes me think of. You know, like right now, if you guys were watching this whole yeah. Porsche thing, I got like an old school Porsche with a manual. Like that's what this kind of feels like to me, like a full Love mechanical. Um, I like what you said about this thing being more like, it's more blacksmith and gunsmith. Yeah. Um, the J Mac rail is great. We did notice that it moved like an eighth of an inch forward when we were doing, when I had it in that tripod mount and it was grabbing. But as we started shooting it, it went right back into place. It didn't shift zero at all. Um, I, cons for me, the gun does get hot. I would say two mag dumps and you're putting a glove on. Um, it does get hot to the touch and hard to hold. You could always do a mag well, or a magazine grip yep. if you needed to. Yeah, AKs in general already, uh, they're a glove affair anyway, most of the time when you're shooting high strings, so. Um, I like, again, like, the, uh, the cheap tool ammo you were talking about. Yeah. So I might be picking up some steel case for this. Yep. The, the grouping that we got was pretty awesome with that. Um, I did want to get the J-Mac railed version over the wood furniture one. Um, I will say though, it's the wood furniture one's 1099 on their website, so 1100 bucks. This is 1299, so 1300 bucks. So 200 bucks more gets you the rail and the trigger. I think that's reasonable um, with tax and shipping, the gun being just over 1400 bucks. Do I wish it was cheaper? Yeah, of course I do, but from what Mark was telling me other you know SBR small size pistol AKs like this whether it's pistol or SBR short 
S short AKs are going to be what higher price than that. Yeah, most AKs are all in the same price range as ARs now. To be honest with you, so it is what it is. It's the market now. A lot of big matches coming up with these. That's why. So it's popular. That's so, the side rail too. It's kind of nice. Yeah, that's something we should mention. Yeah. So that side rail is going to let you mount, you know, optics yeah, your, uh, towards the rear. Yep. So I, uh, one of the guys commenting on our Instagram video was talking about how PSA does have the uh, hinge dust cover that actually has a pictane rail up top. So that might be something we might look into, but I honestly like the optic running forward up there with the ADM mount. Um, I thought the field of view was going to be a little more difficult, but it wasn't. You guys saw through the uh, first person um, with using the cod mount, shooting through it was fine. Um, the thing hit out the distance. I mean, we consistently hit A zone at 100 yards Easy. standing. Easy. Like Easy. that was way easier I thought it was going to be. You guys asked about this pouch. This is going to be the pouch from Rifle Dynamics. They're a local company here in town that build AKs. Um, I just used a little bit of uh, 3M um, Velcro to Velcro it, that way it stayed flush. Little pocket you could put, you know, your optic screws, batteries. I wanted to put like a little bit of, like a snicker bar in there. A little fun size snicker bar. But I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised guys. This will probably end up being the new truck gun. Um, for you guys that were wondering, I wanted to take the time out here on the range to do that accuracy thing for sure. That's a huge thing for me. And the compatibility with AK mags. But other than that, Marco, appreciate yeah. you coming out, the AK man himself. Uh, we plan on shooting a match with this, so Wolverines. that video will... <laughs> Wednesdays or Sundays, definitely check them out at Pro Gun. Yeah. Um, guys, we appreciate you watching the video. Definitely like, subscribe, especially if you're new here. We post new videos every week. Um, as always, appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs> oh, f it all up. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was it. <laughs> you had it. Oh. I had it. Oh, you took it good. Oh my god, dude. <laughs>